This lesson is called Part 3, Using the FireCAD Template. We are providing a template for you if you are a new user and don't have your own AutoCAD template, or if you're not familiar with how to use a template, this might be helpful information for you. If you have your own AutoCAD drawing and you do not need this template information, please use your own drawing and skip ahead to the next lesson. In this template for your reference, we have added the NFPA 72 requirements for shop drawing submittals as a bit of information on the left of the model space. Please feel free to take your time, review this information, and remember, it's not exactly what you'll need on every project, but it is the generally required information that plan reviewers look for when they're reviewing a set of shop drawings. In this template, we have organized information in the model space and surrounded the information with yellow boxes. These yellow boxes are areas where you can put information such as a floor plan, detail drawings, calculations, and so forth. And in this template, they line up with the viewports that have been pre-configured for this drawing. So as an example, viewport number one lines up with the title sheet. Viewport number two lines up with the first floor of the building and then the second floor and so forth. To use this template, simply replace the information in the model space with that specific information of yours. Now let's move on to part four, placing devices.